being constructive and being creative these are two things which lead to collaboration for teachers so as all of us are gathering today and then all of us have got this thing to be done uh, when we people are going to create the the course and making a site also so the site can be treated as a virtual institution and the course is a virtual course conduction or a classroom that you people are doing now assessment does stand as an important part of it and uh, when we are going to open it for the quiz thing i'll tell you how quiz can be added now what kind of assessment we people do if it is a test then it can be taken as an assignment also see the assignment module does not mean that it has to be an assignment only assignment is that it is made as an assignment can also be taken as a test and how it can be taken as a test suppose i want to take a test my opening date my closing date my the 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 timing that i'm giving them that from this time to this time this will be open and they can submit it they can conduct a test it will not be the exactly the same the replica will not be there in which you supervise in the classroom and they people write on on a paper with a pen but we can use assignments as tests also like uh, open book class tests as we are turn we are turning into that domain these days the flexible credit system and then open book class tests or open book assessments are happening these days so there is a possibility that that might happen i am clicking on site home so that i can go to my my course i'm clicking on course now this is the these are the available courses i'm clicking on the first one that we people are working on we have worked on assessment so this is the course this is the like i went to the course and i found this so again the habit the way like uh, we brush the way we walk we don't need to think twice so without thinking anything i simply go to the right hand side while talking to you and i have turned the editing on so the moment editing is being turned on i can edit the things uh, when at attendance we people have covered so this these are the attendance things that we have added attendance can be edited attendance can be deleted attendance can be exported as an excel sheet attendance can be you say sort of managed by you as well you can see summary and everything that you people can keep on exploring now we are moving on to another aspect of assessment which is called quiz now why assignment and quiz are being talked as assessment we can organize uh, certain activities by integrating h5p integrating uh, sudoku and some more active plugins are there because quiz and ass assignment these two generate reports for us like these are standard traditional you say tools of evaluation which are being trusted and believed so they mark the conclusion of a course so i'm going to add it suppose to topic number 2 you say quiz i'm just naming it it can be like it can be william shakespeare it can be like uh, like uh, any any thermodynamics and then i have got notes and the last one is a quiz so that can be there i'm just adding it here add activity and resource going to quiz where is the quiz thing quiz quiz here is the quiz everyone i click here and i'm going to read it for you and when i'm reading it for you please remember this description which is given by moodle to all of us is very significant very important because once you read it you will be able to talk about it but if you don't read it you'll simply end up using it only you won't be able to explain when you people are going to introduce moodle to your students tell them two things number 1 they need to talk to you continuously about the interface if they are stuck somewhere the smartphone application of moodle can also work but it will work better for the students not for the teachers who are managing the course you can log in but you cannot do all these things that we are doing on the browser or or the laptop we can say moodle can also be installed as a software on your desktop as a software as it is a vlc player or a whatsapp web mm. or uh, like many softwares you people are learning to so the quiz activity this is an activity the quiz activity enables a teacher to create quizzes comprising questions of various types now what are the types multiple choice matching short answer and numerical today i am restricting myself to multiple choice only the other 2 3 5 7 things can be explored by you i will showcase what are the types of questions and then you can keep on exploring it there are tutorials there are resource persons there are you say you have got all competence to keep on exploring the teacher can allow the quiz to be attempted multiple times feature number 1 the same way assignment had this feature that multiple times the assignment can be tried so the quiz can be attempted multiple times if we allow 
with the questions shuffled or randomly selected from the questions bank if i say that questions like i have i have placed 100 questions in the question bank and then the students will end up answering 10 questions and these will randomly be picked by the quiz but we are working on the shuffling feature that questions will shuffle their orders will shuffle first the suppose i ask you a question that where is taj mahal so the the thing which is called agra delhi mathura or kurukshetra so these these options will will keep on uh, say moving from one place to another place a b c d and these things i'm just getting back to quiz now each attempt is marked automatically a time limit can also be set like randomly these things will come the questions will be shuffling a time limit may also be set each attempt is marked automatically with the exception of essay type questions because these are required to be you can add essay type questions see it means that but these have to be marked by the teacher so this is what it is now another thing is the grade is recorded in the grade book automatically suppose the quiz was for 30 marks and uh, five mark question was an essay type question and uh, 25 marks were multiple choice and the key was already entered by you as you people have seen it in google form based quiz so i get marks out of 20 for the quiz my teacher evaluates my five marks subjective uh, submission and then my marks get uh, you say collective they join together and then they are shown in the grade book the teacher can choose when and if hints the feed hints and feedback and correct answers are shown to the students so this is also there quizzes may be used for course exams as course examinations mini tests for reading some particular assignments case studies or to conclude a topic it can also be used to practice uh, uh, certain certain questions uh, before the examinations uh, sort of or after the examinations also we can uh, deliver immediate feedback about the learning of the student the performance of the student and for self assessment also here i go add i'm adding the quiz module and we'll see again the same thing everyone name description name description this is the same interface you can see I, almost the same availability turns into timing the grade the layout question behavior is about shuffling as you people can guess i i think and restriction is also there in which i can restrict that this quiz should open this quiz everyone this quiz should open on this particular day and time there are more uh, restrictions like uh, i can add restriction that uh, if someone will complete this activity only then they will be attempting this quiz those who have got this percentage to this percentage only they will be able to attempt it suppose it is a remedial quiz so i can set that those who have got 60 to 70 percent grade only they will be attempting it i can forbid or allow i specify that these people will be able to see it or will not be able to see it user profiles so these are there we are just going to use or showcase the date thing at present i'm just moving on to give it a name so we are giving it a name the name is gena -E general quiz general quiz description is answer these five question there is a possibility everyone that my quiz bank the notepad might not be having five or will be having five answer these five questions referring to the audio now where is the audio here is the audio and uh, let me what they call it let me leak the question paper so one is about education one is about uh, who's organizing what day and who is the resource person so here i go you must be knowing that today Praveen Kumar is taking your session. There's a flying Sikh in India who is called Milka Singh and then blah, blah, blah. You, you record everything. Uh, this is a description which can go for two minutes. You can add an image. You can add a, add a link to a YouTube video also in the description so that the people can listen to the description. You must be knowing that today Praveen Kumar is taking... Done. Attach the recording. This is description, everyone. This is description. Description can have can have all these things a hyperlink suppose i want them in the quiz itself to refer to a particular document and then attempt the quiz so in the description they will find a link uh, like uh, suppose i do this go here and uh, referring to the audio answer these five questions read okay watch this as well 
click so I click here create a hyperlink enter the URL open in a new window and create a link so this click turns into a link this is a description only nothing else now if I like suppose I, I I am done with general everyone these are the details I want my students to know beforehand attempting the quiz I can skip it and I can simply type this one and some more instructions like uh, time and everything though the timing will be available to them when the people will open the quiz I have opted to give them explanation as well as the analysis of it otherwise three topics have been covered two topics have been covered in the same unit and what you people do at the end of that unit you are adding a particular uh, that way quiz to assess it so I go to timing everyone in the timing thing open the quiz availability of the if you remember assignment open the quiz when open the quiz on 29th this time is 12 20 so open it at 12 30 and close the quiz close the quill same day 12 55 so this much time I'm giving them there's no round figure from my side I'm giving them 25 minutes for a quiz means now this is very important different from assignment open the quiz means they can click on attempt the quiz close the quiz means after this particular time ie that is 12 55 29th of May the quiz will not be accepting any attempts what is the time limit time limit is if I see I have given them 50 questions 10 questions for five questions how many minutes I can give them being very 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 supportive I'll say five minutes only it means once they click on attempt it means their time starts it's a stop it's a it's a war it's a clock you can say a timer is being running that once the people have entered it within five minutes they have to attempt it and if they do not complete it all the answers which are being saved will go by default to the assessor or the results so five minutes are given these three things are required to be understood by you if there is any doubt please ask me open the quiz so this, uh, so this five minute limit is for the entire quiz or a particular question uh, one no sir entire quiz sir. we are just, see we are adding a quiz so questions okay. are not at all in the scene we have not added the question this is the complete activity of quiz so this activity will be a five minute activity for the student it will stay open it will be available like see we have got three hours of examinations and for, for first 30 minutes students can come late so that is the thing that if someone starts attempting it at 1240 the student will be having only five minutes so somebody can start even at 1250 because after 12.55 they won't be able to attend it is up to them they do it in two minutes three minutes or five minutes but they can't take six minutes so this is the thing everyone timing we are done with general we are done with timing the grade thing the grade is how many marks out of five i'll say they need to have four that is my choice if i say that minimum is four out of five how many attempts i'm giving them i'll say unlimited keep enjoy do it uh, like the way you want to do it keep on keep on keep on doing it but i said no i can give them two attempts but if i can give them two attempts and i want to like make it true then what is my grading method out of two i want to take the highest grade i want to take the average score i want to take their first score i want to take the last attempt score so that is my choice i can read from this uh, blue base white question mark when multiple attempts are allowed the following methods are available for calculating the final quiz grade almost I, I said the same things highest grade for all attempts average means the mean the mean median modes mean grade for all attempts first attempt all other attempts are ignored last attempt all other attempts are ignored so this is what it is I'm saying two attempts will be given to my student and I'll be taking highest grade and they need to reach at least four so this is here everyone layout new page you want all the questions on the same page or you want that they will complete like if you if you have done google forms there's a thing called sections so if you want it to be a four page quiz or you want it to be a one page quiz your choice i'll say that all my never all questions on one page be it 20 questions they can simply scroll like this and they people will find it so this is my layout question behavior shuffle within questions yes do you want to shuffle it within questions do you want a shuffling 
that uh, the options a b c d will sort of shuffle in something that is that kind of feature you people can explore because the primary thing at present is to bring a quiz to your course these kind of things now now this thing is to be understood very uh, what do you call it holistically and uh, in a in a rational sense number 1 if i do not apply advanced features to my course that does not mean my course will fail it means even if attendance is not a part of my course dear friends i can still run a course i did not take attendance for the moodle cloud course as you can see there is no feature of attendance that can happen i have made a whatsapp group and i can coordinate with the students that is attendance is required when it is run at the university level and they need to maintain a record we can maintain a record without it also point 1 point 2 if i am skipping certain things like extra restrictions and common module settings why i am skipping is my course can run without it and i need to run a course first i need to introduce myself into it i need to bring the learning thing first the administrative things can come later and they will come later now what i did general quiz description timing this 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 grade for highest grade two attempts allowed layout new page no all the questions on one page question behavior yes within question shuffle the options review options review options i am not taking i have to read it and then that will like take more time show the users picture decimal places in grades how many decimals i want you say 4.2.3 this is because we can edit the questions like sometimes uh, i have given uh, like four options and i believe that the students might end up answering a question 100% correct or partially correct so these and in your quiz also you can see i'll show you how you can edit a particular question you can make that if they choose this one you give them 100% grade if they choose this option you give them 33% marks out of one or out of uh, you say two marks of for that question we'll show that uh restrict access i'm not putting any restriction because you know how it is being restricted save and return to the course or save and display please suggest should i save and return to the course or save and display if i want to move on to edit the quiz and add questions i have to go and display if i want to get back to the same turn editing on page if you remember i have to return to the course if i want to return to the course structure where all the activities were listed i'll say return to course if i want to display the quiz module only where questions can be added i'll go to save and display so if you people have responded show ing visible screen not showing no that is an old one i should say save and display or i should say save and return to the course which one you want save and display save and display so straight away we are jumping back to the quiz and i'll go to add questions i will be showing you how to add in one question now see this is what you people can see these are the details i'll show you how to add one question and then i'll upload the bulk questions prepared by us now these this is the notepad file ready now allowed attempts are to everyone see this is what we had set the quiz will not be available until friday 29th of may 12:30 and the quiz will close on 29th this and this so this is the timing everyone if you remember this is 1227 and this is a machine but this machine has been designed by humans so they have tried to add some smartness to it it says the quiz is not available and quiz time limit is 5 and grading method is highest grade i guess these things are the things that you want to announce to the children that everyone i'm giving you a quiz and you have to start at 1230 and you have to attempt it within 5 minutes but before 1255 and your highest grade will be taken you can attempt it in as many you say attempts as you want to so this is what is there but there is no question the audio is here which is a part you of must be knowing that today pravin kumar is taking your say but i can click on edit quiz everyone please remember because once i start doing it i won't be able to return then i have to add another quiz and then this edit quiz will appear for uh, at this place to be true no questions have been added if you can see no questions have been added of course truth now i click on edit quiz the moment i click on edit quiz i'll see something which will give me the way to add questions and there's uh, on which side left or right you see the button add a d d d it is visible on right hand side or left hand side on the right side on the right side thank you so it is on the right side if i click here can somebody type at least two of these three what are these options 
or you can speak a new question hmm. from question bank and a random question done i'm talking about the first two here the a new question means i want to add one question and i'll add it manually i won't be bringing it from somewhere else i won't be doing it so a new question is that thing from the question bank means i have already saved a bundle of questions to my question bank right in the beginning of the semester i said that i'm adding 100 question here questions here i have categorized them for unit 1 2 3 4 because generally what what happens is the moment you will talk about preparing moocs and uh, government is coming with a mandate government wants universities to to start uh, you say uh, giving online degrees also so that won't happen that you will be Uh, you will be preparing your unit three at the moment you are about to teach unit three. You have to submit the complete course so that way assessment questions will be made by you. You will submit a question bank. But let me go to add a new question. What type of question you can add? This is what I want to show you. But I am going to pick up only multiple choice. I am reading it or somebody else who can who can read it for us. These are the types of questions you can add to a quiz. It's a multiple choice, true hmm. and false. Mathing, short answer, numerical, essay, calculated, calculated multi choice, calculated simple, drag and drop into text, drag and drop markers, drag and drop onto image, embedded answers, random short answer matching, select missing words, and description. And description. Thank you. Great help. now this is the possibility everyone like if you are making a question paper like this type of things you wanted to put and uh, the digital things are also there and the traditional things are also there but like pardon me for doing this thing i'm picking multiple choice only and we are adding one question at a time the moment i go this way i'm adding one question only if you are stuck at the notepad thing this can be done i clicked on that and where do you want to add it to like which category it is going it is going to this second category yes because edop2 is the code if you remember means to which particular course i am throwing it i am throwing it to general quiz if you remember or to the course but i want to add it to general quiz my question should go now i am adding one question and this question is about suppose this question is about in the question text who wrote godan question text how many marks you will say one i went to add question i want to i went to edit quiz i then i went to add question then i am adding the question but i decided the category for general quiz hindi i can add an audio here in place of the statement all these things are exactly the same again but this is the title you can put uh, like uh, this thing and there's no word limit you can see i can i can keep on pasting here like uh, there's no word limit that way so it can be a reading comprehension passage also my dear friends of all those subjects that require uh, there is a need of uh, comprehension passages now this is one mark only general feedback nothing i'm not giving a general feedback general feedback is when the student after they have completed the question unlike specific feedback which depends on the question type like if i have got four options i'm adding four options to this multiple choice every option can carry its own feedback like suppose if they pick up uh, where is taj mahal and they click on lucknow and the feedback comes no same state but not lucknow so they can keep on thinking if they click delhi will say not at all delhi you need to expand or this, this and that such kind of yeah. general feedbacks uh, can be added specific feedbacks can be added to option but general feedback can be can be here you will say good to see your learning anything like you can do otherwise we can skip it also anything which is in the red is required anything which is in the blue is to help you now one or multiple answers you will say one answer only one correct answer but i'll say no multiple answers are allowed then i can i can give weightage to it if you see like multiple answers means same chan can somebody tell me what was the second name the or the first name actually the, we know him by two names this one is a pen name i heard munshi munshi premchand uh done ma'am so if somebody says premchand i'll be happy to give only 30% marks to this person because this person should should be knowing that it should be munshi premchand there's another one there are two like the second one is rai if you remember
now this is first one i'm 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 uh, introducing you to something else as well like how you can say multiple answers are allowed such kind of things but let me go to again one answer only it will complicate things otherwise so grading is zero if somebody writes premchand if somebody opt for opts for this which is called munshi premchand i'll be happy to give 100 marks and this is the feedback everyone but if this is the feedback in the feedback i can add an image also and the image can be a happy sort of child also like good or or you say you you make them happy a meme type of thing can also happen you can attach an image and when they people will be will be answering it and if they answer opt for this the response will be there or you can record an audio sahi jawab aapne bilkul theek kaha कि उनका पूरा नाम मुंशी प्रेमचंद था ऐसा करके दिस इज दिस टाइप ऑफ फीडबैक कैन बी एडिड बाय यू एंड व्हेन दे विल ऑप्ट फॉर दिस ओनली देन दिस फीडबैक विल बी गोइंग टू देम सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज देयर दिस इंटरफेस इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम थिंग सो व्हाट वी हैव डन चॉइस वन ओनली प्रेमचंद इफ यू सी चॉइस टू एंड सी यू कैन यू कैन एक्सपेंड इट ऑल्सो डोंट डोंट फील लाइक दिस इज वन लाइन ओनली so like this is this is how you can explain it if the options are going going like options require more space and uh, this one uh, whose name can be there uh, godan was written by this d h a r a m dharam veer d h a r t i grade i'll say none because it is not at all the correct answer choice number 4 Shri Lal Shukla. There is a there is a beautiful novel written by by this author. Now grade is none, and I give grading for the correct one. So this kind of thing can also be done. Like these are just examples. I didn't think of those things also. This is feedback. So these are three options I am giving. I am just moving, 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 and save changes and continue editing. I'll say save changes. So I'm just saving changes and showing you how this quiz is getting in this getting this for its first uh, you say sort of a question uh, that way. Who wrote? And uh, this is a sort of a programmed thing. You you can see it. Who wrote Godan? And these are the things which have gone to our question. Save changes and continue editing. Okay, save changes and come back. This is what I need to do. I'm again coming back to the same question. save changes and see whether the quiz has got this question or not if not we'll do it again can you people see this is the change hindi who wrote godan is it fine everyone on the setting button i can click and this is a manual entry yes sir right yeah. it is a manual entry uh one question if i wanted to add i added this now this is how i have learned first i have learned how to add questions one uh, by one may i ask a question hmm may i ask a question sir sir why not sir uh sir actually uh, so there are five options can uh, be added the most or you can add more options more well. more sir let me show you more sir like when i was scrolling there was a thing called i can add three more options just a second blank sir here is sir. to keep only four choices then how to remove the fifth one or we should just keep it you blank? you simply you, if you don't make an entry into it it won't be going there okay sir uh, see blank for three more choices so you can make it uh, three more choices can come and i guess in multiple choice generally we end up making four that is a standard uh, the moment some universities or Uh, official yes. examinations will be asking sir okay thank so you so i'm getting back to the quiz showing you that how one question has been added now let me go back to now see this one thing i need to total number of marks are one if you want to edit the marks uh, how do we change the topics name everyone the moment four topics were added it was topic 1 topic 2 topic 3 topic 4 in what way you were able to change the name of the topic if you can tell me how did you change the topic name to some thing pencil mark score so by clicking the pencil mark and then making pencil. the changes and then and then and then third step pressing enter <laughs> pressing enter so i click the pencil i'm going to make this question for two marks and i'll press enter 
So it is for two marks. Now you see total number of two marks. Uh, now will you agree with me and do tell me uh, this thing being being vocal? Our question papers do not have questions exactly for hundred marks if the question paper is set for hundred marks. Is it that true? Yes, sir. True. So we give them around one thirty marks questions, but we want them to attempt it following the choices and the instructions, and uh, they can claim a maximum of hundred marks. That is what my understanding says. Right? Yes, now? sir. That yes, is sir. A, a thing we used to write on the papers called OA, over attempt. So the over attempt is a is a is is a thing. Now I'm moving to show you this thing. Maximum grade is. 10 but we are 10 means maximum they can score this but total number is here but once we complete our quiz then we will be see we'll be finding out how this can be done at present i'm just saving it and i'm telling you how we can import questions the last thing for now i'm getting back to my quiz coming back to the quiz now this is my quiz everyone need a very attentive eye now please have a look this is the quiz the same quiz i'm not attempting it though there is a question and see attempt is available now i click on this setting button once you give me an okay that you have seen this setting button only then i can move ahead this is a setting button now we call it gear so if you have seen it where it is how to like uh, reach this if i can tell you now i am in my course i'm again starting keep your notepad ready point 1 go to this kind of thing turn editing on and general quiz click here now it is the same you click here everyone if you have clicked here can you tell me do you see import or question bank am i audible no sir there is nothing, nothing like that is your audible I'm audible now. See now, this is the this is the the what you call trap for all of us. This is what we people sometimes miss. As you know, what is always what is easy to see is always easy to miss. एक एक Russian poet है Brecht. तो उनकी कविता है उसका कुछ मतलब I might be changing the words that way. They say कि मैं बड़ी बड़ी शार्कों से लड़ा बड़े बड़े शेरों को मैंने पछाड़ा मगर जिन्होंने मुझे मारा वो खटमल थे. तो छोटे enemies. so abhi the, what exactly is here let me tell you import is not here if you say import is not here you will simply jump on to ask somebody hey import is not there so i want you to scroll See, so scroll down yes very nice sir scroll down sir so if i keep it here nothing is there and i'll be worried my god i don't know how to bring it i'll simply jump on edit quiz the moment i click on edit quiz this is a familiar page you will see again you will say now again what to do then you will say add you'll say from a question bank you'll say oh mil gaya question bank you'll go to question bank and you'll find nothing in question bank because you didn't import anything you'll you'll end up searching for that import and probably your willingness will get uh, procrastinated for some time but let's be very particular about it let's click on that thing again and find out how we can move on to import click on here move on move on move on move on and here we have our target question bank questions categories import export and purge let me go to import now i click on import and this is the thing which opens if you people have remembered my name if you people have remembered everything which has been important to you so this is again a very important thing about questions importing the question through a notepad file like uh, uh, what what we can say you you can't go on a bicycle if you want to go to some other planet you have to have, a, have a, that space craft they say it means this and that are directly interrelated means this has to be there if this happens so if you are uploading a question bank multiple choice notepad file you have to select icon format a i k e n this is a simple format for importing multiple choice questions from a text file what i have done everyone i'm clicking on icon i'm choosing my file choose here is the file upload this file everyone see icon ensured file is here import my god 
went wrong. So the errors have happened everyone and you people might have guessed it that I have taken a file called with errors. These errors have happened. I'm showing you the file now. Where is it? Don't don't look at the place where you had fallen. Look at the place where you slipped. So where did I slip? Can you please see? Everything has to be in one line if it is a statement, point one. Point two, you have to have capital letters as the option headings. You say A, B, C, D. You should have a bracket and then space and then the option. So my errors are, if you people can please guide me, the statement has to be a one single line. There has to be capital A, B, C, D, then bracket, then space. And the answer has to be written in A, N, S, W, E, R, all caps lock, capital block letters you can say can you please tell me where are the errors I'll sir the first the option is in, with the line we need to enter it and done, c is small c is small done ma'am c small very good done what else sir india is in all caps not a problem sir in b part uh, in the organization there must be a gap yes ma'am one more error is there in the second question. The so, that... we, so, we, Taj Mahal is where is Taj Mahal and where is uh, which is known as Wonder of the World. These two are different. Very nice. Different Very nice. Got it. Got written. it. Same line. Same line. Got it, ma'am. So two these questions are written. Two are there. Right, ma'am. Two two statements are written. Two questions have been created. Done, ma'am. Very nice. I'm really thankful that you people did this. Let me go back to the same uh, with error. Opening it. Removing the errors with your help only, bringing it down. Do let me know if I am being able to remove the errors. See, in the notepad file, you move from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. You keep on writing, like you keep on moving from left to right, any end. Notepad, notepad files, like they, they allow you to write in a single line also. So you have to write in a single line only. A N S W E R. A N S W E R and then columns and then space bar. Is it uh, looking fine now? Is it looking fine now? You don't see any error? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Fine. So I am yes, uh, getting back. I won't continue. I'm going to, you say, cancel this. More information. Uh, there is one feature that I am going to mention to you. See, again, we are back to ground zero icon. So go to this general, everyone. Go to this general. Please remember, go to this general. In this general, it says, forget about the first two. I'm not mentioning for now. Stop on error. It says, if this setting, like this setting, determines whether the import process stops when an error is detected an error is detected resulting in no questions being imported or whether any questions containing errors are ignored and any valid questions are imported so let's go with one thing stop on error i would say don't stop on errors if there are five questions that can be imported import them but please remember if i do no here it is going to throw me into another cat catastrophe that way how i've got a 10 question quiz five are imported five are not imported I feel by mistake that everything has been imported and I'm going to have half medicine in the body and half medicine may be thrown outside by the filter. So I keep it yes. When the whole file is completely fine, only then import it. So I'm choosing the file everyone, going to upload here, same folder, going to with error, though it is not with error as we feel, you can see icon. You can see this general thing not being touched by me and import everyone. Uh, I wish. Yes. Can you see the green lines? Somebody please say yes or yes, no. Sir. Thank you. So these are the two questions. Continue. They are being thrown in the question bank. So can you see these two questions in the question bank now? Yes, they are my question yes, banks. Sir. The same way you have got users in the back end, the same way these questions are there. Do you want to create a question? Click here and we are in the question bank, everyone. We are not in the quiz. Please remember we are at present in our question bank. 
So these are the questions. Let's bring the another file which is there with five more questions. Now you people have got to know what format is there. Can you please tell me which file format? I can sir. I can Done. format. Should I touch everything, anything in general? No. No. Choose. Then upload a file. Go to sample quiz file. Upload. I can done and this, 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 this import. Any red line means error. Any green line means okay. Five questions listed. Five questions were there. Continue. Please do not add question one, question two, question three there because you don't know which question you are adding to which number. So you simply write a statement in a notepad file. I, I wish that you people keep on exploring and there is a format called GIFT, G-I-F-T, which is required for, for, a, for a set of questions. Like in the same document, you can have one multiple, one blank, uh, one that type one matching. These things are possible in GIFT one, but we are keeping ourselves to a multiple choice one. We are keeping. So these are the questions, everyone, which have got added. Now, let me go back. This is question bank. These are questions. Till now, any trouble? Any trouble? No, sir. Is done, sir. Uh, going to the chat box, just finding out. Nice. Fine, 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 fine. Questions need to move upside. Uh, we can drag and drop the questions. Like we can, we can change their sequences if you want. Like these are settings. This is a multiple choice symbol. You can delete them. You can preview them. You can duplicate a question. You can go and edit the question. Here you can edit the question. Edit those, add those memes and if you remember those different features. You can add questions and you can edit them. You can add those uh, tags to the question so that you can search them by tags. Suppose this question gets a tag and uh, the tag is this. And uh, I search here. The same way you, you, you have learned the glossary thing probably and uh, the same way we search it. So this tag has been added and I'm going to search it. But I just need a question which has got a tag. Searching got me the question which has got the tag. Now this is an additional thing that I, I got tempted towards. Now these are the questions everyone which are there. Let me jump back to my, my, my quiz assessment in Moodle. I'm going back clicking on the left hand side navigation. Now can you please tell me where is the quiz? Which one it was? So many. Okay general quiz it was. General quiz. Click here. I'm the teacher so I'm looking at the interface of a teacher only. So this is what it is everyone you people can see quiz highest grade in something now I click here I click edit settings or I click edit quiz or I click import everything is here in Moodle cloud probably the the interface might be different if I click on edit settings I'll be editing the module the beginning in which the description and everything was there but I need to edit the quiz I don't need to edit the quiz module one question only see what to do I'll say I need a random question. Give it a try. A random question. Add a random question. Adding a random question. That you adding a random question. Default EDOP. All the questions have been added. It means the complete category is being uh, picked up. I'll say no. I want to add one by one because that is the simple way. Add a new question. No, that is the wrong way. What should I do? From the question bank. So these are the questions. Can you see a plus symbol? blue can you tell me what is the display text which is coming the moment i hover my mouse on it is add to quiz add to quiz, quiz. Add done. To quiz. done ji. thank you now th these are the questions which are there and and there's one more thing i want to tell you do you see the question about uh, see who wrote godan if this question is not there means this is not in the question bank you created it in the quiz itself and in this one, it is not there. We added a question about Godan here. You see these categories there. So in the category, we have got this thing. Different questions are there. So I'm clicking on this plus, plus, plus. You'll say, ye bot time lega. Plus, 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 plus. I'll say select, select, select. Now these, these have come. I'll go to question bank again. I can select all or I can select multiple.
so I can select one select two select three add selected questions to the quiz selected there's a possibility that I might have selected some duplicate ones yes what goes on I'll say delete I guess this is going fine now these are questions for six marks maximum grade is everyone four I'll and this is there is a button called save I'll, I'll tell you why I said four I'll say this one to be edited and I'm going to make it one just to justify oh, zero no zero please one one so total number of marks in the quiz are five but maximum grade is four let me make it five also rather than getting into some other complication or diversion so this is five everyone i guess you people have uh, probably understood that is my, ob my my idea that i've been able to talk about it and we are just two minutes to one and that was the time given to me i'll show you how it is attempted so this is the quiz everyone general quiz i'll show you how it is attempted attempt the quiz now can you see all everyone here it is everyone can you see this declaration the quiz, yes, has, the quiz has a limit of five minutes time will count down from the moment you start your attempt and you must submit it before it expires are you sure that you wish to start now i'll say come on i'm ready i've read everything then can you see the timing four minutes and 55 54 the countdown timer is here one two three four i can navigate from question number one two three four to five who wrote godan everyone please help me score well unmute and tell me munshi premchand spelling option number one two three four b b b done which who is known as the flying sick milka singh option b. two which institution is organizing the ftp Option B. Done. B. Which day is today? Option B. Friday. Friday. No. What goes in the education section of your resume? Experience, organizations, name of school, and awards. Which one? Experience. No. Education section. Yeah. In the education section of your resume, what do you add out name of these? Of the name, uh, of the name, name of the school. Name of the school taken. But let me go wrong for now. I'm just okay. doing an error from my side and finish the attempt. I'm playing the quiz. See, answer saved, saved, saved. They'll say final. This attempt was submitted on Friday, this and this. Submit all and finish. I'll say yes, submit all. I don't want final submission, confirmation. Time left, 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Submitted everyone. My score, you can see. You can see 4 out of 50. 5 means 80%. It is there? Yes, sir. Yes. So yes, I'm, sir. I'm finishing the review. Do you know how many attempts I had allowed for the quiz, if you remember? Two, sir. Done. Re-attempting the quiz. I'm going to score well with the help that you people are going to give me. No, mm -hmm. not this one. Now shuffling has happened. Okay. I thought yeah, it was D, B. D, D, D. D. Done. Done. D. I'm very quick this in, time. Uh, Friday and uh, name of the school. Then I'm playing it, playing it. Finish the attempt. Again, the same confirmation will come. Return to attempt. I'll say no, no. Submit and finish. Submit all, finish. The smartphone application is also helpful enough. You, your students can see. These are the things that uh, I did not write these, but these are the options which have come. Because by default, th these are the messages that will be coming. I'll say finish the review because my score is there and five out of five are being given. Time taken is 30 seconds. This my, my teacher will also be able to see at what time I had started. They will also be able to see. Now, if two attempts were allowed, two attempts are gone. Let me see. Re-attempt is possible. I guess I was the owner of, no, either I have placed unlimited or I'm the owner. That is why I'm able to like play it further. I'm going all wrong this time just to show you that it is about taking the highest grades or the average. I'll, I'll bring that thing again to you where the setting of the quiz was done. How many attempts were allowed? Can you see everyone? This is the message which has come. If I opted for the wrong option. Which uh, particular option? 
सही जवाब आपने बिल्कुल ठीक कहा बिकॉज़ आई एडिड इट मुंशी लाइक डोंट डोंट फाइंड इट एज अ फॉल्ट आई एडिड दिस ऑडियो एंड देन आई चेंज द स्पेलिंग सो दिस 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 फिनिश द रिव्यू the quiz which students are opting can have any type of questions but when you are uploading the restrictions are on the question bank upload the, the same question paper can have uh, any type of questions but see if one if one more thing you cannot edit a quiz if a student has already started attempting it or someone has attempted it if this is the general quiz and i'm a, i'm the owner i'm not a student in this one so it is possible for me to edit it Uh, now you please ask questions or let me know if i have been able to uh, be slightly helpful or of some assistance in making you understand the assessment segment uh, how many minutes do i have uh, with me now dr nitanand ji no it's 1 o'clock uh, yes 9 10 minutes you have Done, so 1:15 1:15 sir Uh, so these are the questions everyone i'm going to add a question just to show you i'm adding the question directly to my quiz i'm going to true false matching please explore them Sh short answer is uh, you will put a question define communication and then define means define not about explain and then you put four or three model answers and uh, short answer is a tricky one like allows a response of one or a few words that is graded by comparing against various model answers which may contain wild cards explore it yourself short answer it will ask you to put model answers i'm going to essay type essay is allow a response of a file upload or and or online text this must be graded manually add we are adding essay type question everyone i'm discussing with you multiple choice in essay now to which quiz it is going it is going to general category Uh, what is the name of the question the name of the question is what is the name of the question the question is moodle question text is how do you feel about moodle now and how do you plan to use it in your own teaching and learning i use grammarly to keep a check on such errors which are deliberate or not deliberate this is the question everyone i should be putting a question mark default marks are this is a 10 marks essay type general feedback nothing html editor keep html so that they can type in the text also inbox size if you because see they will be having both options they'll be sending you files and they will also be typing both both they can do so how many lines i'll say 40 lines display a big box for them to type otherwise they'll end up scrolling what they have written allow the attachments i'll say yes they should at least be allowed to send me one attachment and they can type also both things they can do they can choose to do one also require attachments attachments are optional it's not compulsory do you remember like um, when we are asked to fill some online forms they ask us to attach something during covid Uh, we happen to have a need to have a pass for some medical reason uh, on one side on one side we on one side we had uh, on one side we had the option of uploading our identity the other side we had the re the thing in which we had to upload the proof so but uh, on on a day when we were going to some to some place uh, in a need uh, there was no document we had so we wrote it on a paper and then uploaded it because without uploading the document it won't be accepting so we say attachments are optional they want to do it they can do accepted files please let me know which mark has to come here to say everything which symbol punctuation mark which one that star thank you easy uh response template explore click on this question mark any text entered here will be displayed in the response input box when a new attempt is there it is this uh, word limit is 500 to 800 you know is uh, uh, like uh, what's on your mind if you remember the the pre filled thing and then you write something in the facebook thing so this is what it is word limit is this will be there and then the moment they start typing it will it will be removed so i'm doing nothing else i'm just saving the changes this question is going to get added to my quiz 
I wish. Yes. There's an icon now. Here it is. If you believe me, it's there are hundred percent chances that if you do it, it will happen. Sir, uh, for me, this was I learned and followed everything. Uh, just it's uh, up to me now to practice and develop this because everything cannot be taught. Uh, so I would really like to thank you for the yes. uh, This is everyone. Question number six, if you can see. I had missed it, but somebody helped me recall this. See what? Sir, we... Remove. I am submitting this to, and then like it goes on. So this is a submission. And they can attach a file also and they can finish their attempt. I'm finishing the attempt. I have written something not answered, not answered, not answered. I'm not answering. So they can skip it. And don't ask me, can we force them to answer a question as Google has got that required and that thing? Explore it yourself, please. So what's my score? It says not yet graded. So I'll say done, finished. So this is what I had limited but still there. Sir, as, a, as a teacher we would be seeing responses from all our students right uh, yes so, ma'am so uh, uh, we have to go to their section to see who has responded what no or... you just yeah. need to go to the assignment module like uh, this is the assignment module can you see this thing has happened Yes, sir. So this kind of thing, like, let me go to the course. I'll show you assignment and quiz, how it will be there. A teacher's interface and a student's interface are same. In what way they enter into the same course, but a teacher has got right to turn the editing on. A teacher has got right to assess. Otherwise, the same content, the same things will open for the teacher. Here it is now I'm demonstrating to you. Now you can see. All uh, this is the assignment everyone it is going to open on 30th so I'm not touching it attendance is there a teacher can edit general quiz I'm opening you can see what will be there with me as a teacher this is here everyone can you please see there's an attempt finished by someone this is teachers interface a student will okay. see this much and it will be attempt the quiz with but a teacher how will I come to know who has attempted what there will be list ma'am here there will be list okay. Or you click on grades, G R A D E S. All right. Will be grades. Uh, I was just wondering because, like in uh, Google Forms, we add the name of the child as one of the questions, right? Mm -hmm. So that come to know that this uh, response is from that child. Here it was not visible, so I was like, what? Uh, bringing it to you. I'm showing you the course that I had designed. I'll show you how the grading thing appears. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there are attempts of 16, ma'am, uh, one of the teachers who was there asking for this thing. There are 16 attempts that I can see. I'm clicking on 16. Yes, I'm clicking on, this, this is my interface that I have uh, like actually worked on. These are the attempts, ma'am. You can see the students' names now. Absolutely, absolutely. This is Thank here, you. Thank so you. It is there. I can, I can export the results. I can, uh, like, I can do a dry run for full grade and something. This is there. And this is, yeah. I have told you about uh, yeah. uh, objective thing. I'm showing you the subjective one and I'll show you the grade also. That I, attempts are nine in subjective. Subjective means there were three essay type questions of five, five marks yes. each. You can say yes. nine attempts were being made. And uh, these are the, you say attempts ma'am. If I click on a particular student's review attempt, like I have checked them so I can just open it for you to review. Because I've already checked it, so it won't show me grading. But Shivangi Garg has submitted something. Just a second, not yet graded. I'll do that. I'm uh, moving. I, I just need three more minutes. Requires grading because it has just come 29th of April, uh, May 6th. Okay, she sent. I haven't checked it yet. Not yet graded. Let me see whether it is there or not. So these are the answers which have come from my student. And uh, I can grade it. I can send the marks. So this is what happens. Not yet graded. Uh, right, ma'am. I can explain here. My feedback will be going. So this is one thing. I click on grades now. And everything which has been done for my students is visible. You can see it now. And this is the last thing, everyone, before I close. This is the grading thing. You can see these are the grades. Assessment quiz 17, 25, and all these things. This is there. I can sort it also. 
these are the names of the students i would need to maybe blur this segment because the email ids are there for the students so this is there everyone this is these are the averages course averages like i sorted it from uh, zero to top so these are the names my overall average is this one so this is a course that i have shown you which has been uh, run on which has been uh, you say shared on moodle i'm not saying moodle cloud or junomio moodle so this is 15 maximum grade is changed to 15